Swedish people, they plan too much. I mean, there's people that have planned their, their vacations for 2013. Come on, vacations. You might die tomorrow. My name is Daniel Leon Cambronero, and I'm a normal guy from Costa Rica. I didn't uh, know much about the Fica or about the, the meatballs and the Vikings and a little bit of the culture. The Swedish people is more depressed or more into getting depressed because it's like a it's like a circle. I mean, you care too much about things that sometimes it's not worth it's not worth it to to care about those things. I think Costa Rican people is uh, happier. It's happier because we don't take things that seriously as Europeans or Swedish people. They change a lot from when they're sober to when they're drunk. Inside, is they they repressed a lot of things, like a uh, masquerade. That they shouldn't care. That they want to look perfect to the world, and they should start enjoying more life. life sometimes is not that complicated. They complain a lot of how they live. Sometimes that I feel like they're not very proud of their country. Because people here uh, associate that when you're really proud of your country, you could be also associated with racism or, or like kind of a bad thing. But it's also because here in Europe you take things sometimes too seriously. <laughs> Where I come from, we don't. Loneliness can affect your mind. This is a really big country, and there's not a lot of people living in here. For Latin American people, loneliness is even worse. That people here could handle better 
the solitude or loneliness. The thing is that I think I have liked Sweden that much is because I, I feel related in, in like some ways. I'm also a little bit worried, like, how is it going to be when I get back to Costa Rica? If I have changed too much and I haven't noticed it, and, and if I'm going to find out when I get there. Sweden is a really good country, so Living in here, it, it makes unconsciously to set the, it sets the the bar higher. I used to complain about a lot of things in my country, so I'm pretty sure that when I get back, I'm gonna be like, "Oh shit, <laughs> what is going on in this place?" I'm gonna miss this place.